Hey folks, James Abrinio coming to you from Abrinio Law, your Northern Virginia personal injury and criminal defense law firm. In this video, I want to talk about Virginia DUI law and specifically how does it matter and why does it matter whether or not you're driving on a public highway when you're pulled over for a DUI and how that affects the potential charges against you. But before we get there, I want to make sure that you're aware of our new uh, URL that makes it easy for you to get to our criminal offense DUI practice page. It's novaduicharge.com. That's Nova for Northern Virginia, duicharge.com. We'll put a link to it um, so it's easy for you to see. Uh, there we've answered a bunch of questions and we're continuing to add on to that library of information. Our goal is to help you become an educated consumer. That way you can make the best decisions about what attorney to hire uh, and hopefully help you out in, in your case as well so you're more informed about Virginia law. Of course, this is informational purposes, but hopefully it's useful to you. Um, now, getting back to the purpose of this video, uh, oftentimes I'll get clients, uh, they call me for a DUI and we'll be working on their case and they say, well, James, I actually wasn't driving on the roadway when the, accident, uh, when the uh, DUI charge happened. I was in a parking lot or I was in an apartment complex. Um, I was in other, some other place that wasn't like a highway, a street, a marked uh, designated area that's run by the, the municipality or the government. And they want to know, doesn't that mean that they can't charge me with DUI? Now this is really two layers of information here for you to understand. The first is the Virginia DUI statute 18.2-266. That's where you're going to find uh, it's illegal to operate a vehicle un in, under Virginia law. Uh, that's where you're going to find that statute and I'll put a link to that as well. But under that statute, the way the courts have interpreted that uh, is they've actually said that you can get a DUI without being on a public highway. Uh, and the reason being, if you read the statute, there's specific references to being on a public highway, but specifically there's one relating to a moped. So what the courts have said is because of that, if they intended to require you to be on a highway for a DUI in Virginia with a car, they would have specifically said that. Now, do I agree with this logic? Uh, that's neither here nor there. I'm just telling you how the Virginia Supreme Court has found uh, for purposes of a Virginia statute what a Virginia DUI is. And again, we're talking about a vehicle here. Uh, and I think an important case you can look at is Serafin versus Commonwealth. Um, it's a 2017 case, and I'll put that in the, in the uh, 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 show notes as well. Um, so it is possible to be charged with and convicted for a DUI in a non-public uh, highway. In fact, Serafin, that individual, was actually convicted of DUI for sleeping in his car on his driveway, uh, and obviously not a public highway. Now, where it does matter is under Virginia's implied consent rules. So in order for uh, uh, the General Assembly to encourage people investigated for a DUI to take a blood or breath alcohol exam, um, they've created this rule called implied consent. And what that rule says is, and I'll find a statute for you and then put it up here as well, is if you're driving on a public highway here in Virginia, operating a motor vehicle on a public highway in Virginia, you've given implied consent to have your blood or uh, breath taken for purposes of blood alcohol content, content. Whether or not it's a breath test versus a blood, that's another issue. Um, but if you unreasonably refuse and you're properly charged with a DUI, uh, and you refuse to take this test, uh, the implied consent rule then kicks in and you are going to be charged with a civil refusal. Um, so this additional civil uh, penalty um, is really an incentive the General Assembly has uh, created in order to compel you to take a blood alcohol test. So if you're arrested for a DUI in a parking lot, uh, they take you back to the station and they're going to read you a piece of paper and says you have to take this or you're going to be charged with a civil refusal. Now, whether or not um, uh, uh, it, it, having taken the blood breath test or blood test is, is good for your ultimate case, that's really going to depend on the facts of your case. And um, this video is kind of outside the scope of whether or not you should be submitting to a breath or blood, breath, blood or breath test. In fact, Virginia law recently changed uh, its rules on the civil refusal statute. But I just wanted to clarify how does it relate when you're charged with a DUI um, if you're not on a public highway, and again, public highway is a loaded term as well, which we can get into, but let's say you're in the parking lot of a, a store or you're in your apartment complex parking lot, that's how it relates. So again, you can be convicted of a DUI in a parking lot, um, in your driveway, um, but Virginia's implied consent rules, they can't, um, you're not required to take a, a, a blood or breath test under Virginia's implied consent rule unless you're on a public highway. Now again, uh, what on a public highway is another uh, 
uh, loaded term that needs it and deserves its own video. In fact, we'll probably shoot a video about that. Um, but if you are not on the road, uh, it's certainly important to tell your attorney about that fact and the attorney will analyze how that relates to your case. Uh, it's certainly a relevant factor, but it doesn't automatically invalidate the ability for you to be charged and convicted with a DUI. Now, hopefully you found this information useful. If there's other information, make sure that you want about Virginia DUI, make sure to uh, visit our practice page. Again, novaduicharge.com. You can also give us a call uh, for your free consultation, 703-570-4180. Um, give me an email, james at abriniolaw.com. Uh, and also make sure to check out the rest of our website, abriniolaw.com, where we've got a ton of information about personal injury and criminal defense law here in uh, Virginia, in particular Northern Virginia. Thanks a lot. Hope this helped. And until we talk, stay safe.